screen. Maybe widen that out just a little bit. Hey, B Rock, how are you, bud? What's up, SP8? Hey, Zando. Hold my beer. Midgarter, how is the volumination? Gungi, what's up, you legend? How are you? Is the volume good? Do I want to go full screen on this page? No, I don't. What's up, Adkins? How are you? Nick Warius? Vic? Um, I think that looks okay. Not too scuffy. It is me. Uh, Hot Rod, what's up? We got a lot of stuff to get through today. Uh, to Master Beast, what's up? Um, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some liquid energy here. There we go. The energy drink is open. What's up, Incredible Chunks? Fusion Network, what's good? You've returned for the Merricks? Well, hopefully I won't let you down. You know? Um, yeah, so we're going to at least get through one roster. Hopefully two. Mid Carter and uh, B-Rock have been very patient. What's up, Sako? Hey, Southside. How are you, Southside? Um, got, uh, I got my own six-star bronze, Dexter... My own six star bronze Dom. Um, I asked Furpo to send me the gear for them so I can play them. Uh, yeah, Noah, that would be awesome. My free to play account would love to snag Dexter at six star bronze. It'd be my first six star bronze dude. So, uh, yes, Vic, if we get time, absolutely. Between the roster review, there's going to be a surprise somewhere along the way. No spoilers. Um, and then a little bit of Dom, a little bit of, uh, um, what's his face? Dexter gameplay. And then, um, hopefully B Rock. And then, yeah, hopefully we can get some Lita in there for you. Also, let me catch up. Uh, Hot Rod, Incredible Chunk, Sako, Mike B, um, Noah, Telvin, Roof. And Paco and SP8. How are you guys? Hey, Fish Cant. How are you? Also, I'm on a different screen than I normally am when I'm streaming, so I need to change that. It's going to bug me. Hopefully it doesn't mess up chat. It might mess up chat uh, on the screen that you see. So let me go back to Twitch and then WWE Champions. This is the screen I'm used to. Of course, I have an ad, but that's fine. There we go. That looks better. Uh, also, I might have a sneeze in here. Uh, Roof, that's a common thing in other games. People have asked me to do that before. It's just really weird for me. Uh, but I have had people tell me I should do that, and they would love to do that and stuff, but I don't know that I feel comfortable with that. If I was a full-time streamer... Hey, Scotty, how are you? It's got to go blue. If I was a full-time streamer, I think I might be more comfortable with that, but I don't do this um, for the money aspect because, you know, it's way, way, way less than minimum wage when you convert how much actual dollars I make from, like, YouTube and Twitch into how much time I spend. Way, way less than minimum wage. So um, it's if I was a full-time streamer and that's how I made my living, I might feel comfortable doing it, <clears throat> but it just makes me feel kind of kind of weird. Um charging people for advice i guess uh i don't really know how to explain it other than that it's something i could potentially get over yeah, like i said if i was a full-time streamer but i'm not so it's just <clears throat> it's always it was one of the hardest things um when i started streaming getting used to people doing donations and subs and that kind of stuff um it was, it was, it was difficult to get used to for me. So that's a long way to, that's a long way from there. And I'm not, I'm not there yet. My time is super valuable, actually. Uh, I do agree with you on that. Uh, I'm incredi incredibly selfish with my time and I don't like giving it out very much. So that I do agree with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the event looks 
pretty good on paper from what I can tell. I don't know how hard Showdown is going to be. I haven't done almost anything. In fact, I'm, I haven't done anything on the main account. But the what's there um, from Tours and what's there in Showdown, you should be able to get to the moment. However, caveat, I don't know how hard Showdown is going to be um, to get there. But what, what it states is there, it looks like the uh, moment is the where you can get ish, like without doing crazy math um, and in depth. So moment looks like it'll be on the table for quite a few people. Has anyone added up to this milestone? How many of these we get outside of the like special tours that are up where you need the required characters? I, I would imagine we're getting pretty close. Uh, yeah, I think so Dexter already if you have a high gem damage strap and if you have the um, I Did not that's the one plate. I did not take during the zombie month But a lot of people put the I think it's what is it called? Uh, I call it the taker the taker plate, but I think it's like something 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 uh, last ride or something like that Um yeah, last ride. So he already slaps with just the last ride. Adding another 25%, and then the fact that um, it's a he's got a buff, and buffs work better than it would just adding 25%. So I don't, I don't think I think it's just a nice little enhancer uh, if you have those things. If you don't have those things, it also helps too. So I think it's it's fine, especially. Uh, considering it's in the last faction milestone so assuming your faction maxes that's completely free I have I think it's great honestly of the gears that's probably the one I want the most because uh, for me I probably won't really use the other ones Indy I would use but I don't have Indy um, but like I'm probably not gonna use Dom personally uh, Dexter I could see myself using and I'm probably not gonna use Rhea personally so for me, Dexter gear, and, and I don't, I have a feeling I'm not going to get Indy anytime soon. So to me, Dexter gear is actually the gear I like the most, uh, personally. But if anyone has added up how many, um, how much currency it looks like is on the table, free-ish with what we know, um, and there's also some in the faction milestones too, right? I would love to know because this prize wall has some pretty solid stuff on it. Um... Actually, there's some really good value stuff that's worth talking about, I think, too. So first off, the six-star fuses, if six-star is a thing, a struggle for you, that's a huge saver at token, uh, tokens, so that's definitely nice. If you're close to any of the Judgment Day folks, I mean, that... That's a huge chunk of shards. That's some really good value on those. Priest is a great uh, uh, coach, trainer. Dom is a great coach, trainer. Um, really, really good. So I like the value here if those gets them for if that gets them for you. Personally, I'm very interested in this Seth gear. I love the price on it. Uh, as Seth now has three moments that add multiply gems and stuff. Um, thanks, Beetle. Um, so that's super interesting to me. If you're a Bianca enjoyer, this makes her crazy uh, good. In the free milestones, about 3K. Okay. Um, Montez gear certainly helps him quite a bit if you're a Montez user. So I like those. I like the gem damage straps in particular. Lowest you can hit is 40% gem for a modern dude striker. Uh... I'm kind of all about these straps. I think those are good value. Personally, I will stay away from all the econ uh, because that's easily replaceable. Much harder to get a high gem damage straps um, and gears. So that's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, I wish there was lady straps in here too. Uh, but 100% lady gem straps are super hard to get. Um, like, almost impossible. So that's probably why. But I do really like the value on these. Yes, she does, Vic. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, that's what... I like the prize wall a lot. The event looks really strong so far. From what we have and stuff, I do like the event. Uh, I'll come out of it 
I should with something I, I want, even if it's uh, Seth gear, which I'm actually kind of really want that. So that's cool. Hey, Hitman, how are you? Um, and actually, my free-to-play was able to get through today's tours, even Hell Mode, with Montez Ford at Five Star Bronze. That is very unusual for him to get through a special tour. So he snagged a bunch of points um, when he normally wouldn't. I actually don't know HD, so... What's up, LC? How are you? How are you, HD? Nice, Noah. Yeah. Yeah, and Dexter's pretty solid. You pulled a six-star Montez fee. It's nice. So, yeah, I like the prize wall. The event's looking really good so far. Um, Showdown is, re like, on the free-to-play, I've said this before, Showdown's almost impossible for me on that account. Um, yeah, Southside, I do. Um, right, so... I don't do well in the showdown portion of things with him, so I don't know how many tokens and things I'll get on that account, but I did way better in the tours than normal, so I'm already digging it on the free-to-play, um, and I'm so, I, so it certainly looks really good on the main account for me. Um, yeah, so uh, we got some people in now, and I think Mid Carter's here. Hopefully he won't get called away. Um, we're going to start with Mid Carter and go through his roster and then after his we'll do some dexter gameplay and some with his gear and some uh, dom gameplay uh dom can be pretty good in the right situation Sako, with tag in stuff it just depends how you want to use him but yes dom can be very very good so yeah and then as the stream goes on we should we have some other stuff if there's time i want to get to b rock today um, and I got a third person in the queue, although I can't imagine we'll get through three with as much as I, um, as much as I talk. Hey, Brutal, how are you? But if we, if we get to three, we'll get to batter. Um, so, Mid Carter. Let me get over here on Discord and hopefully not show anything embarrassing on the cords of disc. Um, luckily, Mid Carter and I have fairly tame conversations, um, Keep it on the deal. How do you get on the list? Uh, ask me, Zandel. I would put, you can, we want to be fourth. Roster sorted by uh, class and your skill plates. Please try to keep the clean shots, screenshots clean um, and easy. So. Um, so Mid Carter, are you still here, Mid Carter? You didn't get called away yet? Uh, a lot of people really like JD Priest. I haven't taken him six star personally. He's a five star gold. Trickster tokens, like, I have like this queue of tricksters that I would love to take six star, and it just isn't happening. Right? So there's that. What's up, Tiger King? Um, so Mid Carter, he's looking at, um, he wants two or three more turn one feud guys, preferably one a legend. That can be ever, a legend can be really rough. Uh, to get a turn one feud guy. Um, Mid Carter, did you score Roman this week? Um, more diverse boss battle guys. Blue gem generation is a priority. Uh, that, that, in app, that, those will absolutely help for shields, blue gems, etc. And then any trainers or coaches he might be missing, which all eyes will help with that. Uh, so for me, it's personal Discord, my Discord, but. Um, like Zandel, I know. Batter, I know. These guys are in my servers. That's fair, uh, Mid Carter. Um, Rusty, obviously, I knew. B Rock, I've been on my streams forever. So these are all guys that I've known that asked, and I'm happy to, to do it. But as we go on, because uh, this is going to be a weekly thing, um, I d definitely, if you're showing up to these streams, and I'm noticing you on, on either my stream or these streams. We'll get you into these and get through people. Yeah, HD guitars are my lowest, especially after talent up, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, Dante. So, you know, just keep showing up to the, the Tuesday streams. and Because um, this, this, I kind of want it to be a reward to people. Hey, hey uh, Scon Michaels, that's hilarious. How are you? Um, I almost said Sean Michaels. How are you, Scon? Um, I kind of want it to be a reward for hanging out, having fun, and that kind of thing. And, like, for now, 
I don't know how many I'm going to get through a stream, and I got enough queued that by the time I get to you after Zandel here, um, your rosters likely will have changed, right? So um, we'll see what happens the next couple weeks and uh, who's showing up and I notice, and then, yeah, absolutely. Hey, Sean, how are you? I'm great. Yeah, guitars, there's so many good tricksters, and they have so many of good training abilities, too. These 2MP guys with current perks, so like 2MP, 1 multiply, 2MP, XYZ gem damage, 2MP, move damage, they're all really, really clutch. Angelo, what's up? Finally, Angelo Casey has come back to a Merrick stream. Yeah! Uh, no, HD, you can in... 14 minutes though, real quick, in 14 minutes. <laughs> so yes, I will be happy to do so in 14 minutes. What, uh, uh, yes, if that is indeed the case. So yeah, a lot of tricks, there's a lot of good ones too. Okay, um, what am I doing? Mid Carter. Yeah, the new moment is, looks to be obtainable based on the what the blog says for points available in showdown and in tours obviously i won't say free uh because that depends on your roster but it looks like it would be free to my main account um and that sort of thing so yeah okay so mid carter uh i can use help with trainers and coaches spotting important ones so again those two mp xyz's we talked about it is hd oh that's great then uh, do you also need brawn or can you miss brawn even too? Um, he wants more diverse boss battle guys. Blue gem generation is a priority. We might have some, um, mid Carter, also some, um, kind of sleeper picks that can help when you need those ones, um, that maybe aren't as difficult on tokens. Um, well, I'm thinking about it, mid Carter. Do you have a boss promoter leveled up? And if so, who is that? Cause that makes a difference too. Um, all right. And it's usually 1.96 million with all CSS. And that's not counting, like, getting points for your, um, whatchamahoozles, too. You know? Your, um, these are Mid Carter's plates, by the way. So he's got a lot of them. Um, in this screen. So Mid Carter has a lot of plates. I want to see, he's got, like, a Rhonda's jacket, uh, Titan plate. Z plate, uh, just get an idea of what we have to play with. Tiara, boss plate, Seamus crown, uh, dog ear gremlin plate. He's got a drip, so drips in play, chic plate. He's got a lot to work with. So I'm going to assume barber plate. Uh, Mid Carter has pretty much most of the relevant plates that aren't Ghostbuster plate. Triple H, Cora plate, very similar to my plates. Got Judgment Day, Veer, KO, yeah, yeah. Gunther's hand, uh, sheriff badge, and we got this one. Y'all, your plates are, look super similar to mine, actually, uh, Mid Carter. One point seven six without Indy. Nice HD. Okay. Now, uh, hold my beer. That's not the point of any of these. Some people are gonna have more options than uh, others. Rusty uh, had a very much less supply of plates, and that's okay. That doesn't, he's got the Piper plate, that's a huge one. Um, actually, he's got his Sammy set up, it looks like, just like I set mine up. And then, um, yeah, so he's got great plate selection to work with. And is this the top? Yeah. He's got this set up nice, so I can see all of his strikers in one screen. Um, Mid Carter, you said feud guys, so I'm assuming you're good at striker with feud with sammy here i mean like sammy rocker jbl um for turn one guys you look pretty loaded i'm assuming striker is not a feud problem so i'm going to kind of break this down to like uh black 30 percent and working on trickster okay so trickster is your boss promoter gotcha and uh, if i if i'm not forgetting what i asked so I'm going to, and we'll go through feud and then we'll go through like boss. So to kind of keep it separate. Yeah. Uh, so mid Carter's got a very strong roster, right? 
Um, so feud wise, I would say you're probably about as set as you're going to be at striker, right? Like I don't mean like, you know, these three here, there's not like, if you had Bam Bam, okay, Bam, we could talk about Bam Bam. I don't have him. doesn't look like you have him. So I'm going to say feud striker is a non-issue for you. Oh, striker is your main boss promoter. Trick is next priority for ladies. Roger. Okay. I misunderstood. Perfect. Well, that even, that helps for uh, boss then too. HBK can do a lot of different stuff there. So yeah, strikers look really strong for you. And that makes sense with your promoters. Uh, I think you're asking if I speak whatever Deutsch is, which I'm assuming is either, is Dutch? Question mark? I don't. Um, so that looks really good. We'll come back for trainers and boss for Blue Generate. Acro. Um, oh, I'm assuming ladies too. Nikki, I mean, like, Lady Striker is rough. Um, yeah. With some of the stuff you have, though, I might have... Wh what's your highest gem damage uh, ultimate you have for Nikki? I might have something for you there, actually, mid-carter uh, build, but it's it's fairly whaley. Um, I'm not a Roxanne fan, personally. Like, sh I don't, if you have to use a sub to set him up, I don't like that. And I think, doesn't everything for Roxanne need a sub? Uh, SP8? I, I haven't looked into Graveheart on her, though, so if, if she doesn't need to use the sub? No, she doesn't? Okay, now I'm interested all of a sudden. Okay. You have my attention, sir. And I do have a Graveheart. Um, who else? I don't think he has Roxanne. Pretty sure he doesn't. So yeah, it looks like you have your better uh, strikers leveled up anyway for ladies. Forty percent for Nikki. Uh, five three match. So okay, you lost me. Yeah, Steph is really good because of all the tricksters, and this is a valid point for anyone looking. Steph has that boost against tricksters, and there are so many tricksters out there. I normally would say not probably worth it to specifically go against or level one person for one class. In Steph's case, with all the really good lady tricksters, I think that's a safe bet. Most feuds, bat matches, you're gonna run into a lady trickster. Um, so that's also something you could do if you have an abundance of striker tokens and like you don't want, you, there's no one here you love for silver um, since you already have Nikki. Steph, uh, for sure six star, kind of play around with it, see how it works for you. In feud, and then um, definitely consider her for for silver as you get more tokens. Because if you're not like whatever, um, as far as blue gem generate, while well, I'm thinking about it on on uh, boss, doesn't Funk do just a grip of blues? So if you're also good on um, boss tokens, you can go um, yeah four by six area to swap into blues that are multiply. So it's 24 blues, multiply gems, uh, recycles. Um, you can also get away with putting um, Piper Plate, like on Boss, to load it up. You could also use the plate you have on LA Knight to, to, to grow the damage, and also the um, Pyro Plate, Princess, the, the, the you know, the, the Pyro Plate mid Carter. So Terry Funk actually would also potentially cover some blue stuff when you say blue gem generate though is four by six into multiplies enough or are you looking for more blue gems because you have a really good roster so uh and he's also a striker promoted one so there's that i mean rocker can kind of do like 16 or so i think so it's a slight upgrade over rocker but you know um i want to say rocker's 16 blues this is like four by four area or something like that might be bigger off the top of my head i don't know uh but your strikers are pretty clean they're pretty good you know that works just something to help clear shields i got you will you link me n your new ria video which new one hoodie like which ria the acrobat that i love so much is that the one you're asking about Yes, okay. Absolutely. Two seconds. I love that one. Um, here you go, bud. Last build set, hoodie. Last build set. Okay. <clears throat> no problem, bud. What am I doing? We're looking at Mid Carter's roster uh, and looking where he can 
possibly make upgrades. Uh, KK. Um, so Acro, you got Macho. Do you have gears, by the way, for Macho? I also see you have Wesley. Do you have the moment for Wesley? Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge Wesley fan. If you have the moment, Mid Carter, do you have that NXT moment? Um, and then do you have a good gem damage strap and, um, no gears for Macho, no moment for Wes. Okay. Never, we'll keep him on the back burner for if that moment shows up. Um, and then you also need, is it Braun that's yellow and blue? Braun Breaker? Do you have, I don't think you have Braun Breaker. So you do have a Judgment Day plate though. So you can actually don't need Braun Breaker. Shotzi's super good. Uh, cascade risk but super good so she's worth taking up uh no no brawn yet okay that's fair and then same thing applies to like Dilo with the judgment day plate and the plate you have on like um la knight and boss battle so like Dilo is all of those two no wes is viable without the moment but mid mid carter's roster is really really good right so i wouldn't suggest to mid carter build a sub guy and run triple uh, i think it's triple black with the snowfalls and, and nikita and all the the gem damage for snowfalls uh, that doesn't make sense for mid carter's roster and what he wants to do with feud right he need he wants two to three more turn one guys for feud and then blue boss battle so uh, d is another one, mid Carter. that if you get Braun, he can start all three moves loaded. You can use the plate that you have, but also for boss, triple blue, um, you can run him. He's got the multiplies, makes a metric crap ton of him. Uh, so that jumps out right away um, for boss. Shotzi, if you like Shotzi, like, I cascade a little more than I want to with Shotzi, but Lady's Feud is much rougher. Personally, I prefer new Rhea over Shotzi, so I would say take Rhea up over Shotzi. Dilo is a beast, yeah. Eo's really good for boss, too. Yes. Uh, Eo absolutely would be great for boss. She can do a lot of stuff. Overall, though, I'm a big Rhea fan. That would be the Lady Acro I would take to Six Star Silver over any others in the game. I know you'll get her mid Carter. Um, so there's that. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll go through again for training, but I think you already mentioned Acro Dragon. He's got a ridiculous training ability. Uh, Bianca, you got Becky leveled up, so I don't think you need really anything else, right, at Lady Acro, to be honest. Um, Rhea's actually faster, so I think she's better. As far as the dudes go, you know what Warrior does, but he's not necessarily speedy. Um, Dom, Dom never loses, right? trying to think with what you have if there's anyone that's gonna like really up your your feud uh do you have tatanka's moment yep fair enough mid carter yeah mid carter's got a nine million roster yes dragon's ridiculous trainer uh pretty sure that's zombie orton i don't have him leveled up but zombie orton i would say yeah, I think uh, Mid Carter earlier said he already took Dragon to Silver. Dragon is Silver now. No gears for Macho. No moment for Wes. He did it Monday. Um, he sent me this last week, so there's probably a few variances. Tatanka, if you wanted to move a Judgment Day plate, I think can hit pretty hard too. But again, Cascade potential. I don't know how much speed you're picking up. Really, I think for me, your Acros, Mid Carter, as far as feud goes, are kind of on hold until you get Brawn. Uh, and then NXT moment for Wes or just Braun uh, for D'Lo, right? I don't know if I see anything that you're going to, like, going to change your life, right? Just run Macho when you need to run an acro. Uh, but I don't see anyone that you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to build this guy. If you had Wesley's moment um, and Braun uh, or Braun and D'Lo, and I know you have the plate on LA Knight, those would all do the trick. Um and then, like, ladies, Rhea. Shotzi, potentially, if you want to. I like Rhea more. But you got Becky, so, eh, you don't really need to, you know? And you already took Steamboat up, so your acros are really solid for what I'm looking at. Um, is Doink a finisher trainer? Does anyone use him? He's, like, purple or yellow finisher, right? Is that four-star gold high enough to get there? I would take him to the 150%, if nothing else, for tours. Um, while I'm looking at this, in case I forget later. 
right? So he's worth bringing there at least for that. Um, I'm sure you have Cena up recently for that thing uh, because he's got the dual training ability. And if you did his tour the three days ago or whatever on the weekend, you have him high enough. Bliss tour is live. Okay. As soon as we get through uh, mid carters, we'll go into the bliss stuff. Uh, maybe I'll take a quick look at her real quick um, once right now, and then we'll play her uh, a little bit. So let me see. Do I need to reload my game to see it? I might. Um, so about your acros mid Carter, how are you feeling about them overall? And then strikers, did I tick on stuff that you that's helpful, or did I miss something? And again, we'll go back through trainers. Okay, here we go, uh, after. So Alexa Bliss, right on. Um, this is awesome. I know Crazy Dean is going to be super happy. That's the wrong button. Um, I do have to reload to see her to her. Okay. Eh. Let me reload my emulator real quick, and we can go back to Mid Carter's roster while we do that. While I do that. I mean, you guys don't want to see this anyway. It's boring so i'll get that loaded check the tour up and we'll look at bliss really quick just like initial thoughts oh that actually loaded really fast her sub got a 800 percent oh man but completely agree with you i kind of needed a brown yes um i think so mid carter um before it like yeah, I don't see them changing your life. Like, Acro, just try to get away with Macho, right? If you have to use Dom or... You know, you're the HBK Whisperer, so you know what your HBK can hit for if it's enough or whatever. And Dom can always win, right? So, hey, Country Rules, how are you? We're going through Mid-Carter's roster, and now we're taking a look at the Bliss change really quick. And we're going to have some Dexter gear gameplay and all of that jazz. Um, where's the tour? Am I blind? Do I have to X all the way out? Oh, yes. And in case I forget, um, there's fan voting up, guys. Get yourself 400 web coins. Which superstar you like the most so far this month of the new ones? Um, 400 free web coins is useful. I voted on both my accounts. I wanted my 400 free web coins. Let me, we're going to go back to uh, Mid Carter's roster um, while I figure out my tour situation here. Sorry. Powerhouse is my least favorite feud class currently to Mid Carter, um, by the way. And let's click this button back on. I'm going to mess something up today. Absolutely will, for sure, because I'm changing so many screens. <laughs> it will happen. Nice, Batter. You have really good... It, you Batter has some of the best luck for pulls ever, though, to be honest. So, you got KO, you got Taker, um, Seth, uh, Piper, Andre, who you can use with a drip if you want to, Hogan, who you can use with a drip if you want to, Ray, does Ray have gears? Uh, Mid-Carter, Clubber, do you have Clubber's moment? And then what kind of gem damage strap do you have for Clubber? Because I might be able to help you there. If you have his moment in a high gem damage strap. Um, Farouk. Liv. So obviously I'm going to tell you to take zombie Liv up uh, over Piper. Um, as you get time, you're probably planning on it. No gears for Ray, no clubber moment. Okay, is RK bro Randy still relevant? Eh, not with KO in my opinion. I'd much rather use KO Randy, the free KO. Um, we got... You got this rock. You got Cody. You got Braun. Bruh. You got Braun. Uh, you got Sammy. So Sammy's just like a uh, uh, rocker. Um, Mid Carter. I don't know if that's fast enough for you. You got Stay Puff for Legend if you get pinned. It's ridiculous, but you have to get pinned. But it is an option there. I know SP8 likes him. I'm not a big Z Cody fan personally, uh, at all, and I'm and I know Mid Carter like me. I'm pretty sure doesn't use KO for feud. Um, 
You have 100% gem belt just on KO for Stips? Okay. So, Sammy, if Rocker is fast enough for you, Sammy is. And he doesn't need to go silver to beat silvers, by the way, Mid Carter. Uh, so if, if you, you know your feuds pacing and speed, so if Sammy would be what you're, like, if Rocker at Powerhouse would be fast enough, Sammy, I would tell you, take six-star bronze, put the 100% strap uh, equipped to him, and uh, the, you got another feuder, right? He only needs to go bronze, and he can beat silvers uh, with 100% strap and Fury 2s and stuff, um, which I know you have. So there's that. Um, Liv, take up for sure. She's really good. Um, you can all... I only have a 60% strap on my brawn though if you have the 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 plates you know the the plate the uh break whatever generate reds and then viper strike with that with a hundred with a hundred percent strap on brawn i usually hit in feud i range between like 18 and 22 million the 18 million is too low but I only have a 60% strap. With the boost and with that strap, you're probably going to be more like 20 to 24. Um, and he's pretty dang quick. He's quicker than Sammy, I think. Um, so you you would have to commit to filling his stars, though. So keep that in mind. But Braun could help you, I think, because that's who I use. That's the only powerhouse I'm using uh, currently. Farouk, if you, do you have the Acolyte moment? I don't. Uh, but that can be a game changer if you have the acolyte moment. Two Bob was telling me he just runs triple red gem damage or move damage strap, all move damage, and he can do like 20 to 22 million total with just the red clicks, not placing any gems. I don't have the stuff to do that though. Um, you might, and then you could just triple red him um, and do that. So there's that. <clears throat> That's fair. I don't have that one either. Um, also. You got the MP down in the gem percentage on Stay Puff. Might be worth six star bronze just for that. Oh yeah, I need to open up the game again so I can play the, check out the tour real quick. Um, so Stay Puff potential there, trainer wise at six star bronze. Um, I would say for your powerhouse feuding though, you can definitely upgrade speed uh with sammy or Braun, pick the one you prefer based on what you know about them you can easily watch my Braun videos i'm sure you probably have actually um as far as if that speed's good for you um and if you like that or this or sammy right like and i think sammy only needs to go to bronze bronze silver and star fills um and i think either of those can upgrade your powerhouse feuding You now have Bulldog at Max Trainer. Perfect. Angelo, every once in a while I do that too, and it's super frustrating. Uh, my feud partner probably misses half of the prize walls because he forgets. Because um, we're like, okay, we'll make the decision at the end, and then we just forget. Usually it's econ stuff, and it's not the biggest deal, but sometimes he's missed some good stuff before. Um... curse leveled up you i'm not a big anvil fan if you're using um hall of fame anvil i don't we're not there yet uh he's worth upgrading probably then um on the finisher but otherwise maybe not so much um for green finisher damage or if you use um i don't know if you have nod rock we're not there yet but him too Otherwise, I think Veer can go if you care about his training ability. I think he's got a six star, uh, but I don't think I'm using it actively on anyone. Cody, six star for his trainer is also good. I'm doing well, uh, Fresh Mike. How are you? Nice country rules. Flat color turn, I don't remember right off. I think yes. My emulator is not loading. Of course, let me try this again. Good thing I have this other stuff to talk about while it's not loading.
it's stuck on its loading screen, so. Uh, trainer. You said you took Bulldog, and I'm going to go back through on trainers again anyway, but. Yeah, um, what do you think, Mid Carter, about is Sammy fast enough? Uh, play like HBK to be an upgrade for you? Um, or do you have Hogan's gear? Um, Hogan's gear with a drip and stuff is good. I don't have his gear and I don't want to put a drip on him, but you could do that. He also takes care of your legendary at Powerhouse. Um, so there's that. So that's why I'm mentioning it. Um, him and Stay Puff are the only legends, right? Worth doing. Stay Puff, you can get away with, uh, because of the pins, right? Like, and he hits super hard. So yeah. Um... He's a kind of a different setup. So anything you use on him, you probably won't be using on anyone else. So he's also really good when you need a legend powerhouse, like in a in a in a sort of pinch kind of thing. He does have other setups too, but um, there is that usefulness uh, potentially. And yeah, I'm I think that's where I'm at. Braun is the one I use all the time. Again, Cody's training is pretty good. I don't care for him i don't think he'll speed your stuff up much also since you have taker bronze he actually um he was one of the value picks for breaking blues for boss because you can put a titan on him break blues grow the dem da gem damage a little bit always sort of useful if you don't want to take like funk up necessarily he can help with the shield with blues and and then help with blast so you already have him leveled up uh no i need to claim that slow from the portal and all that stuff but my emulator isn't opening so we will look at it as soon as i get that open so yeah i think that's powerhouses uh rick's coaching ability also six star bronze is helpful very helpful for tours uh two blue mp 100 percent sub um so yeah i probably will disagree with you slow because I've really enjoyed all of the reworks. I thought they're all perfect for what they're supposed to be, and I've enjoyed all of them. So I kind of doubt uh, I'll feel any different about Bliss, <clears throat> but I haven't seen her yet, so I might. Yeah, also Steiner, like I said, uh, his 2 MP 100% sub is very useful. I use that quite a bit for tours mid Carter. <sighs> okay, um, looks like the game might load now tricksters well what the heck blue stacks i do not want to have to switch to the portal but i will if i have to everything's just going to be off of screen size is all that's why i don't want to have to uh umaga brutus okay your guys are set um <laughs> your ladies are kind of set yeah uh, I'd take live up. Or Chelsea, or both. I took both to six star. Going to try and decide who I take to silver. But how many lady tricksters can you take to silver, right? There's just a limit. Uh, Tori. Tori. Hall of Fame Tori, yeah. I mean, he's got China at 6-star silver, so he probably doesn't need to. Uh, especially as rare as the tokens are, and I, he might have some of the other new ones. Yeah, exactly, Mid Carter. I understand. It's a time... It's Everyone needs Trickster tokens. There's too many. Right? The good thing is, you're stacked. So... No, I like Cora a lot, Angelo. She does exactly what I want her to. We'll get back into Tricksters. I finally got the game to load. And we'll get back into Tricksters, Mid Carter. Your Tricksters are very good. Uh, now I just need to make it so you can see my game. Bruh. Uh, and one second. I know how to do this. Hey! Cora is silver now as well? <laughs> this guy, okay. <laughs> huh. 
All right. Um, let me claim bliss. New and improved bliss. I will take her to six star because I have taken all of them. I have plenty of acro stuff, so no difference there. There's so much going on today. I knew this was going to be popping. So much stuff. Usually, I mean, like, yeah. All right, Acro Bliss. First off, I love that they're reworking a Bliss. So there's that. Oh yeah, we need to get this uh, this fuse going. For sure. Ooh, color turn damage. Okay. One random into purple, five random yellow, four random blue, reshuffle board, seven by three color turn. Oh, one by three to purple. Okay. And then the sub is not bad at four star. This is four star silver. Okay. There's stuff, certainly stuff to work with here. Certainly stuff to work with here, and let's see how it scales. Hey, Big Love, what's up, my guy? All right, logged into the portal. Let's claim the Blisser. Then let's take her six star. I should have waited on my talent up. Oh, well, it's fine. I really don't care. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Evo, what's up, Corey? I got this for both you guys. Yeah. Welcome in, boys. How are you guys today? We've just been having some mid Carter. Has this been what we got through so far? Has that been useful at all? By the way, you're probably on the same page mostly anyway. Your mid Carter, for those of you guys that don't know, very experienced player, very good player. Also, big HBK fan. I think he's got every HBK in the game. Six star silver. We'll probably look at that at some point too. Uh, because, yeah, he's crazy, and it's funny. Best showboat uh, HBK. You have half half a page of notes already? Oh, that's awesome. That's what I, I was hoping this would be good stuff. That's awesome. Right on, Lee. How are you? Welcome in, Lee. Shout your channel out, because it's like, I think, exclamation point, Champs Chat. Go follow Champs Chat, guys, on the YouTubes, on the Twitchinators. If you don't, Lee, uh, second degree black belt will karate chop you. Or something. You sent me a move set? Fine, HD. Don't let me look at it myself. I'll look at it. HD usually has good stuff. You got the trip. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Just looking at it. That's pretty beefy, man. That's really beefy. Interesting. I'm I'm very curious. Yeah, go check Champs Chat out. They are the newest content creators, a duo extraordinaires. Check all of the creators out. I am very predictable and boring and safe. So you want to watch other people. You can get the color changed. Yeah, I I bet you with the matchy on the on the on the move. Um, I'm very boring and safe and unoriginal. One of the things I like about Champs Chat is their three-minute move set. So if you just want a quick, dirty uh, thing you can watch super quick on a move set, they have that. They have lots of other good stuff. You forgot Massive Dork? Yeah, I did. 100% Massive Dork. Uh, how do I only have 1,200 Bliss Shards? Huh? And a Karen. Uh, I'm going to allow that one true king, but that's hurtful. Uh, I don't want to actually use real TP. Oh, well. I, blue is my highest color. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, it's not always bad being a dork. How do I only have 1,200 bliss shards? I bet I used them. Yeah, I bet I used them on somebody. I'm like, I won't need bliss shards. <clears throat> Joke's on me. 
You had zero? Okay. Is she chaotic or something? Is she chaotic? Acrobat? She's probably chaotic. Joke is on me. <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Fat George, how are you? Joke is on me. Guess who's going to be converting shards for Bliss at a much lower rate? Ha! Ah! This guy. So for those of you that think content creators have inside info, here's solid proof we don't. Uh, I mean, Evo, there is that. You got... So I doubled up on the Booyaka, and I'm saying it that way just to trigger Evo, because I don't know how to actually say it. Um, I doubled up on that. So I already have a dupe. I'm really hoping that I don't get more. You had 1300, John? Yeah, makes sense. I think my blue TP will... Start. So the sub is very... It looks like it's going to scale really nice if you want to sub a dub dub. Uh, blue to purple plate. Purple to blue plate, I mean. Is that the smoke plate? Is there a purple to blue? Uh, or is that one of the new ones? Or is that the old one? Purple to blue. That's a new one? Okay. Reverse smoke plate. Where did you guys have your blisses at? Blue to purple is old? Yeah. Did Evo just send a clown emoji? You're a clown, clown. What's that thing called when you get a famous person to say what you want for money? Um. Oh, man. I know what you're talking about. Uh. What the heck is that? Cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours was 5SS. 4SS like me. Oh, did she get an upgraded trainer at all? I don't even know what her trainer does. Eh. You're out of back our tokens? Oof. What? You're gonna look up Miss... Evo? No. No, you're not. You're a grown man and I can't stop you at all, but just know that I forbid you. Gotcha, greenie weenie. So the part that I like about this is one of the tokens that I didn't have an abundance of coming into the birthday bash Are these ones so these are I, that's what i have i think i have basically everyone in the loots so i don't expect to get anyone but these have come in i'm i'm really getting a bunch of these so that's what i've been happy about that's why i'm taking them six star bronze and this is the first time i've had to use like actual tp on someone so yeah so that's that's my big reason why I don't mind doing it. Plus, I honestly, I really enjoy these reworks. This conversion is going to hurt, though. So silly. I... Blue Stacks today is on the struggle bus. You've gotten four different ones, too? You are lucky dog. Oh, no, it's HD again. Same guy. I know that. Uh, you got Booyaka, Phenom, Phenom Flow, Thugonomics, and Strong Style. I've gotten Graveheart and two Booyakas and hopefully something cool today. Um, oh, oh. I don't want the screen. So sometimes it bugs out and then my screen shows white lines on it. And that's really annoying. So let me shrink this. 
so you guys don't have to look at that annoying white line because I have a black background and it sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, this is what it did last time. I guess, Mid Carter, we're going to go back to your roster again while I fight um, with blue stacks. It's so funny. I have had no issues uh, whatsoever. Let me go back to Mid Carter. I always look for Mid Carter and then I see high low and I'm confused. Like, where's Mid Carter? Are you still here, Mid Carter, by the way? I know you said you might have to go if you got a call, so. Also, are you guys enjoying um, the roster stuff, too? Because, like I said, I plan on doing this every Tuesday, and then I doubt most Tuesdays are going to be as busy as they've, as they've been lately. Because um, usually it's pretty mellow, I think, right? Tuesdays? You love the roster stuff? You are? Awesome. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, so your tricksters are stacked, man. Uh, oh, Mosh. Training ability for Mosh. Again, a token thing. But he's like a much better Sin Cara. Uh, so keep him on your radar um, for that. Uh, plus, I, he's, I think you got Hogan. This is one of the primaries. You got Hogan up for the matchy match. So we're good there. You took Cora Silver. You can work Tori up if you're not new token shortage. She's not great, and you have Hall of Fame China at Silver, so it's not like you need her for Hall of Fame Trickster uh, because you have China at Silver. She's good. She's not great. Um, Asuka training ability at 6 star, too. Again, you just can't afford these tokens, right? But yellow move damage, right? She's yellow and 2 yellow MP. I think I use her on somebody somewhat actively. Same thing with Dom. 2 blue MP, uh, blue gem damage, so super useful. Again, big problem. Kyrie 5 star gold for the extra bleed. I believe it's 5 star gold is where she caps at, so I would take Kyrie uh, for trainer. And, but again, I'm sure it's a token thing. Um, Natty, I'm sure, was a token thing. Because everyone is hurt at Trickster. Buddy, 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 Mosh later on. I don't actively use his trainer on anyone, though. Again, a token thing. You got Sane there now? Okay. And then Theory for Leeches and Liv. Theory for Leeches. I think he's 5-star gold. Um, I don't think you're going to use Theory based... If you had a bunch of drips, we could talk about it, but you have one, so nah. Um, especially as loaded as Trickster is. But get him up for his bleed. Uh, or not bleed, I'm sorry. Leech coaching ability. I think 5-star gold, I think. 100%. And then... Um, Liv. Uh, super good fighter, so you'll want to work her up as you can as well, right? I mean, a trickster is just so stacked. Like, you could, you're just, you're gonna be waiting on tokens for the next, like, four months. You got, like, four or five months, probably, mid-carter of trickster projects, and that's if they don't drop someone who's another good trickster fighter that you want to level up. Thank goodness Brutus was Hall of Fame tokens, right? <clears throat> You don't have enough tokens to take Bliss 6-star? Oof. Jeez, Fat Jord. You have worse luck than me, pending what happens today. We might have the same luck. Um. Yeah. So there's a... I think the thing with tricks is, guys, how many good trainers are in here, right? That have um, high training abilities, right? You got and then you got Chelsea, uh, who's awesome. Uh, Oscar for the training, Priest for the training. Two blue, one mold. Oh no, he needs to go gold for the training. But still, gold uses tokens, right? There's just a ton of really good trainers on top of good fighters. It's it's horrible. Like how many there are? Yeah, Noah for sure. Um, uh, those are the big things that jump out. Again, we'll do a. a combing for trainers also comma my video on comma is not accurate because they gave him a hardcore move towards the end of the month he's much better with the hardcore move um but i don't know that you need to build him specifically not the hardcore combo move i'm sorry i don't know that you need to build comma specifically especially as loaded as trickster is and you have good ones so 
but he's worth keeping on your radar. I don't know what his training ability is anymore right off and what it needs to be at. But I don't think mine is six star yet either. Okay, game came back. Yay! It took three reloads. I don't know why it's being a butt. But it's being a butt. And... This is not the right screen. Window capture. Discard? Eh, there we go. Ah, there's the flat color turn trainer that someone was asking about. It's Kama. That's hilarious. Uh, no prizes today, Painbringer. No prizes today, other than, you know, hanging out with me, which is kind of the grand prize. The other content creators are much nicer than I am. And Striker RVD for coach, that's right. Uh, yeah, there you go. Giveaway Friday. WWE Champions Chat. Show up on Friday to the Friday stream. One, they're cool. Two, you can get free stuff. They're much nicer than I am, and that's an, uh, legit. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, I guess Eddie, say goodbye. To 110. Yeah. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. I do not like. You got a double today, boat plate? I hope I don't get a triple. I have my moments, Pokemaster Hunter, but I definitely have my, my moments. Oh, they give away knowledge too, Jabroni. But yeah, I get, I get sidetracked super easy, guys. Like, really easy. I'm like, squirrel, and I, and I have trouble keeping focus. When I'm doing giveaways, the few times I've done it, it's like really hard for me to stream, focus on what I'm doing, trying to do the giveaways, and have any kind of even remotely coherent stream. You know? Uh, what's the sub go to? It's bl just curious. That's a big sub. Yeah, yeah, I know, Jabroni. I know. That's a big sub. One by five. I should... Uh, for tours, we have matchy match. Um... So there's that. Foley, which Foley? I have Hall of Fame Foley, but he's not leveled up yet. That's what you did, yeah. 50k. Interesting. So, question, guys. Do you just want to see, like, like, so these reworks, they're not, like, on a, on a bigger roster like mine. They're not somebody I'm going to feud with, right? But what they do is they make tours much, much easier. So, like, uh, and they, they make them much more relevant. If I have to feud with them, I certainly can get a win. I actually really like that. I, in this case, I really want to use the sub. Uh, because I like it. It's a, it's, it's a big one and it's really easy. Um, and I just wondering how I want to go about that on a recycle. It would be this, you know, I kind of want to try this up because it's fun for me. I just, I want to try, I think, I think I want to do the sub. I think. Do I want to do the sub? Can I make blue gems, though? Random. Random. No, I don't want to do the sub. I lied. I don't want to do the sub. I lied. Yeah, I don't like prayers, Evo. This is me. We're going triple purple. That's the, that's the way to go. It reloads itself. Dumb not to. Yep. Don't, don't psych yourself out, Merricks. All right. We're not gonna, we're gonna go... Do I care? 
about 6k. No, we're gonna go here. Yes, Jabroni sub is what I'm gonna have to do on the alt account. Absolutely. Uh, what's the charge on these? Seven? On the one by five? Eight. Uh, that's fine for tours, though. I think. We have charge. Uh, I wish you could search trainers. Countdown, purple gem, snowfall, red, color turn. That's not purple. Just use your setup. I hard enough to find my guys. Your setup, you're using a prop, right? You're using all the color turns and a prop. I'm assuming, right? Tech Shamrock and Woods. No, LA Knight, Shamrock. Yeah, that, that's his setup. No, the gear is 2MP. Oh, I forgot I have her gear. Duh. And I, I forgot what it even did. That's actually decent gear for an old one. Thanks. Yeah, I can run that. I can run your setup, Evo. I mean, HD, apparently it's also Evo's. I can run you guys' setup. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all of her gears. Yeah, Fat Jord. Uh, Christmas, right? She got boosted at one of the Christmas ones. Pretty sure. I'll look at it in a second. For ya. I think I have that fool on somebody. There are so many trainers and coaches. Shamrock... Yep. Okay. Hall of Fame Brett, is he even high enough for me to have the full color turn? Does he go to 100% at 26k? She's got a lot of gears. 50 is max? Okay, we good then. So gears, purple moves start with two more MP, and moves that generate blue will create one more blue. Situationally useful, with the rework, useful. So Bree has no chance here. Hmm. Honestly. Honestly, you could turn one this um, with the gear, too, right? Four, six, one for your turn is seven, Santa's eight. You wouldn't even need Santa be if you had LA Knight. So you could turn one this with gear, too. Oh, it's random? Too bad I can't choose that. That would be nice. I can choose this. Uh, it's up and down. Ooh, don't like. Actually, I think I do like up and down. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I should have hit this twice, right? I should have hit this twice. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Why did I not hit that the first time? Because I'm a terrible player. It's fine. We're on normal. I hit that, and then I hit that. What's the move damage? 30. 69k? 32k? 24k? Okay. I was like, maybe it's something saucy. Like, 500k. Nice, Sean. Congrats. Knight plus two, gear plus two, two or perks plus three, turn one. Chammy's 100%, then go... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't know. I like this rework. At six star, for sure. Uh, the sub... Trying to get back to the sub is gonna be... is tough. I think, like, this is the... This is the play. Mm, no, Evo. To my knowledge, there's no color turn play. Like, increases color turn damage. There, That kind of stuff I feel like could be on the horizon because there's not... Color turn is something that's been really not that good for a long time. 
like there aren't very many good color turn people like period so oh it'll happen chris i'm just saying though <clears throat> this is completely did i do the same tour again yes i did uh this is completely fine for a rework though this is what i want out of them like you know how painful any of this would have been before super painful This is not painful, you know? Mm-hmm. Very, like, I think that's all, like, a lot of us want when we have to use someone for CSS and stuff. You know, like, just help it not suck, you know? And it's kind of fun. If you want to have some fun and mess around with it, The other two are kind of paywalled. Yes, absolutely. I love this rework. But I, I've loved all of them so far. I'm sure... Cena has been my favorite. Maybe... I don't know. Let me play against the six star and see how this feels. I really like Cena. It was fun. It's not going to set the world on fire, but I like that I can hit a 7 million hit finisher with Acura Cena now. That's fun for me. <laughs> Bradshaw first, Noah. Bradshaw first. He's a difference maker, in my opinion. Hey, Sensei, how are you, bud? Hey, Batter, what's good? Yeah, Bradshaw's awesome. And it, that doesn't matter what size roster you have. You're just getting ready for work? Right on, bud. It doesn't matter what size roster you have, Bradshaw is going to help it. What time is it? 3.43? I'm doing okay-ish. Ish. Yeah, we're in the middle of it, and then the Bliss Tour dropped. I was not expecting, like, uh, this much stuff. Hi, Chad. Hmm. Hello, sir. My name is not Chad. I don't like being called Chad hurtful hurtful maybe he's not talking to me but hello how are you yeah so we're in the middle of mid carters b rock i don't think we're gonna get to yours today because i still have to play at least some matches with dexter and stuff man you think he meant chat chad's hurtful anything other than chad i mean Unless he's going to say, Legend, Giga Chad, then maybe Chad. But then that would be a lie and not accurate. I'm only getting, the at best, the 1x5 twice. Let's face it. It's me. Hmm. It doesn't matter. I knew it. I always pick the wrong side. Pump the brakes there, Chad. How are you, uh, Mule? Mule? That's. I feel like I'm mispronunciating that. You need the six to cycle. Eh. Now, yeah, I see. I see what you're saying. Right, because then I could have got that off and it would be charged. I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It all makes sense now. 
I'm like, oh, and now the, the Cascade Rex is coming to play. Love, love me from India? Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I love you too from Oregon, USA. What up, Scon? Ravioli, how are you, bud? What's up, the real Volti, otherwise known as Ravioli? My man, Ravioli. Chat. You know what, Sensei? That's funny. I don't care who you are. I'm going to allow that. Ravioli's going well. Right on, bud. Yeah, uh, Bradshaw is a good coach, too. Estonia? I'm doing very well. Um, how are you, sir, from Estonia? That's one thing that's awesome about wrestling. Yeah, I like a rework 2 HD. That's one thing that's awesome about wrestling. Global community, people from everywhere. I think that's super cool. And then champions in particular. I mean, I have zero complaints about this rework. I like it a lot. Yeah, Bella refuses to hit the protects. This is the part where I say, hey, Merrick's Howie Potter. It has been forever. How are you, Howie? <laughs> Good comeback. He says everyone, everyone loves him in India. Yes, I love it. Good come. You're, do you're doing good. Right on, man. Yeah, it's, it's your least favorite. Okay. I think... Uh, like they were saying, I would adjust it on tours, and I would go with, um, matchy match, as they were saying. For sure. I'm going to say Bradshaw because boss battle and stuff. That being said, if you have really good stuff for carrying cross, you can hit super hard. Like, super hard. Do I know who is Jonathan? I know a lot of Jonathans, but I don't know who you mean specifically. Third Booyaka? I hope I don't get a third when I open this. Yeah, I like the rework. <laughs> I just got a funny DM. Love it when Gerson sends me memes. <laughs> I don't know if he can hear this, but if he can hear this, that's freaking hilarious, G. The chuckle was me opening, opening your meme, sir. You want one Booyaka? I'll trade you a Booyaka for something I don't have. Let's talk to Furpo and maybe we can make it happen. CC perks. Trait plating among the CCs. I'm sure no one would care, right guys? <clears throat> right. Oh, Cascade Rex showed up. You don't need to. Um, however, I don't mind doing it. I mean, it could. At least it wasn't Trickster, but yes, back-to-back -back acro is tough. Thank goodness it wasn't Trickster. It wasn't all player error. Because there, there's no guarantee the green the green was going to fall. Right? I mean, I could have, yes, put it somewhere else. Right? But there wasn't a green that was showing that was going to fall. So it's not all player error. You don't know that. I could just have easily have cascaded somewhere else and dropped three in a row in. I can do a three match in cascade. But it is some player error. Cody crybabies. I don't work for Scopely. I just make videos for them. So... If you want to become an official content creator, you need to make a bunch of videos like on your own first and go through 
this process of trying to grow a channel when no one knows who you are and spend a lot of time making videos that no one really watches and then I am a Cascade Crybaby and then stream a bunch when no one watches and then eventually if you're really lucky somebody notices you and says to the community manager hey this person has kind of got cool stuff out there I think they'd be a good fit uh yeah Risto still good without Z Gunther third vintage glamour ravioli ouch yeah I am a cascade crybaby My cascades are huge and my cascades are huge everywhere. Yeah, she's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh unique content is certainly helpful. All right, let's see what we get, guys. Let's see what we get. Body 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 boop boop boop. Got guitar. Thumbtacks! My Cascade brings everything to the... We're on a trickster spree! Keep giving us purples. purple pur Yes! Another guitar! Streamer luck. Uh, six star, Sensei. Thumbtack! Look at me go. I am quite at my leisure here. Gosh! Flippin', flippin', flippity flipper. Two grave hearts, two booyakas. Ah, uh, not streamer luck. However, I did get a macho crown. Ooh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, that's gold. <clears throat> That's amazing. Oh well. Two grave hearts, two booyakas. I'll have to find somebody to put the grave heart on. Oh, faction? Solo? I guess we can open these. Uh decent five star build. You're gonna have to use the sub and super sub it. We can I can look at that real quick if you want. Recycling is going to be hard, so what I would say is uh, if you want to win easy, just bring some uh, blue MP sh uh, prop ups and just super sub it as best you can. Um, I have blue ones to spare. Say what, Painbringer? From Leave It to Beaver? What does that even mean? I know that's an old show that I've never seen. What do you mean? Leave it to Beaver tirade. Oh my gosh, Vic. Not that again. How can you join my faction? Well, you can send someone in 1%, probably Marsh, a message, and then talk to them about getting in. There's a waiting list for 1%. Um, I don't know what's required. Oh, old school fake, uh, like the bleepity bleep. Did I say bleep? What did I even say? Bleepity bleep bleep. I don't even know what I said. So yeah, easy mode would be sub and then some blue gem chucking. And then you might as well just make yellows into color turn and hope they turn blue too. I mean, to be honest, I feel like if you swear too much, it loses its meaning. And it's usually not super funny in general, but if you find alternatives to swearing, it's usually much more funny and then also can help you not to be as mad because it's entertaining at the same time, if that makes sense. So everyone should have Steiner or most everyone should have Steiner, assuming they could do tours. Is new Shinsuke worth taking six star silver? absolutely um yeah but i don't know your trickster situation uh but yes new, new shinsuke is very good 
Plus, then when you do drop that swear word, it has more impact. You agree with Chad? Thanks, Sensei. This is what I would run. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was a really loud laugh. That one's great, G. I can't show it on stream or I would. <laughs> I, my free-to-play can actually run all of this except for Logan. Uh, so if you don't have Logan, then you're going to use Shelton. And then just bring some blue up. Pro That's a 5 million sub, though, right there. Uh, Mid-Carter's roster first. Got to do Mid-Carter's roster first. Cause, and, and then I have to try and play... Uh, at le I had Furpo send me the gear so I could show you guys. I mean, other people are streaming all week, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah. So, I would do it that way. If not, do Shelton. Uh, and then Blue Shango Ups. Kinds of re reminds you of your really religious grandparents. So, I mean, got Booyaka 4. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah. That's probably how I go. Okay. Uh, mid Carter. You still here, Mid? Midi Mid? Minster? Mid Arena? All right. Sorry this is taking so long, Mid Carter, and I'm bouncing all over. Forgive me. My friend, uh, did we finish up Tricksters okay? Are we on Showboats then? If so, we only have Showboats and Techs left. Showboat is the best class in the game. It is my favorite class. Um, what else to say? The best... The best Showboat HBK in the game. Six Star Silver Legendary HBK. Gotcha, Painbringer. Your favorite class is Striker. Okay, so first off, your showboats are stacked. You got Taker, so you don't need anyone else, but you have other stuff. Mellow's ridiculous in Showdown. He doesn't need Silver. You got Seamus, who's really good. You got Regal, who it's for five trillion. Um, you don't need help at showboats. You got Ray if you want to mess around with Ray. I'm sure you have Waller in here somewhere. Uh, Waller's got an interesting trainer if you ever get Samu or Fatu. I don't have either of them. There's Waller. Lady Showboat is not super exciting. I don't have her moment. Tori's really good with her moment. Uh, otherwise, uh, lead is okay. And lead is better if you can run the... Is it the Cody plate? Not the Cody plate. The Triple H plate. Triple H plate on her and have a high gem damage strap you can hit fairly hard with the multiplies the evo build we'll call it and you have lita leveled up um <laughs> he's used to being moved back in the show he's a mid carter after all that's great cody plate yeah thanks evo cody plate that one um, Cena's up for his training. You're good there. Uh, what's Gable do? Isn't Gable green finisher? I don't think you, I actively use it on anyone except for during tours. We're thinking about six star for that. And then of course, Gable requirements. Uh, not that he really probably needs it. We're thinking about though. Um... I love new KO. Honestly, mid Carter. Um, I don't actively use a Bulldog Bracer. I don't love Powerhouse KO. I like that he doesn't cascade and he's Merrick's proof. Honestly, and people are going to hate me for this and disagree. 
Bulldog Bracer, good gem damage strap, and Sheriff uh, Badge on this KO. I would feud with him before I'd feud with Regal. Because Regal is slower. Grayson is really good, so the triple green, if you got gear for his multiplies, or you have what's-her-face, Sherry, uh, really hits hard. There is the Cascade chance, which I don't care for, HD, but yes. Then you can also do the annoying black drip thing, which I would never do with the drip, but there's that. Um, but yes, Grayson is very good as well. He is very good, especially if you have gears. Um, but I would feud with KO over Grayson. He is. He's he's wish.com Seth. Yeah, and he's a legend. I actually am going to take him silver, and I will feud with him more. And this is crazy because Regal can hit way harder. I'm not actually saying he's better than Regal, except I think he's better than Regal for feud because he's faster. He doesn't hit harder, but he's faster. He's less clicks, and he hits hard enough. It's crazy talk, and people aren't going to agree, but yes, that's how I feel about it. I think that he's he's really good. Anyway, um, LA Knight is super fun. KO hits harder, unless you get LA's gear. I don't have his gear. I don't think you have his gear. Also, LA Knight for blue. Um, is he as good as HBK? No, he's not as good as your HBK. Uh, yeah, Evo. Ray is super expensive, I, is what I would say, to get to hit his top end. Expensive from the sense that you're going to commit really, really kind of game-changing stuff to. And is it worth it on your roster is going to be a different question for everyone. Let's say if you got one Piper plate. Do you you agree? You Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, if you like, I run my Piper plate on Sammy because I like using triple green because it's really easy, right? And then like I'm not using my green trainers on anyone, so I Striker Sammy has better setups than triple green for sure. But I actually like using one of my plates there. Um, yeah, kind of the same stuff as Regal. Yeah. So that's a valid point, though, Evo. If we're saying he's faster than Regal, and he uses the same stuff as Regal, if you're using Regal, maybe you use Ray instead. And I think um, I would use Ray with the multiply setup for me. Right? And the uh, I think instead of the stun, I think I would probably use the multiply with the, with the Piper plate, buff it all up, chuck him out, blow it up. Yeah. You got a valid point there, Evo. If he's using the same stuff as Regal and you had it on Regal, then it doesn't matter. So there is that. It's a valid, actually fair and valid point. But I actually like KO speed-wise. And I think he hits just hard enough. So actually, I do like KO there. And the Legendary I like a lot. Yep, I have two and I keep one on Sammy as well, Mid Carter. I think we run Sammy exactly the same way um, most of the time. Sammy slaps if you get Roxanne and, or if you have middle lane and you want to run the really, really fast multiply setup. Uh, also, zombie Sammy hits harder if you have the zombie moment, which I do not. Um, anyway, um, you got Bailey leveled up. Good, really clutch trainer. I use Bailey a ton. Um... Yeah, so I actually prefer KO over LA Knight unless you had LA Knight's gear, but LA Knight is LA Knight and he can do blues as well. Yeah, we're talking Z Sammy. Sorry, Evo. I should clarify. And I think that's the big stuff I see, other than why is your showboat mankind not six star, sir? It's okay, I forgive you. You have this one six star silver, so, you know. You deserve a little bit of free time. Or free time? Hello? Leeway. Jeez. English is hard. Uh, does this get Kane's max training ability at silver? Probably. I feel like you would have it there already. Zombie Kane. So yeah, uh, Grayson. Because Grayson's also super good for green boss battle. And we were talking about boss battle utility. Really, really good for green. 
I mean, obviously there's Zombie Dom, but Grayson is also super good for that. Really, really good. So I think there's a lot of good utility there. Uh, Taker's ridiculous. Mellow, Naka, they're high enough. Sheamus is really good. You know that. You got him there. Um, ladies, it's kind of pick your poison, like whichever one you want. Training abilities, what you like. I think I prefer... If I had the moment, I'd say Tori. Without the moment, I actually kind of think I prefer Bailey with the boosted, the fact that Nakamura works now. Shard tough? Fair enough. Oh, nice, King Z. Those affiliations are awesome. Yeah, so Montez, especially with his gear being on the wall and relatively cheap, that's something to think about. Good gem damage strap on Montez. You got a lot of purple damage. Those purple gems go really, really big. I think he's kind of underrated. And I think in one of the videos I did, I talked about Montez being maybe as good as them. Uh, as someone and people are like, you're an idiot. He's not as good. Like, whatever. Um, Montez is actually pretty underrated and can do good stuff um, without needing crazy stuff necessarily. So that's always worth talking about if you want, like, something in your back pocket. Actually, don't know if they if uh, Valentine is a licensed loss uh, sensei. I have no idea. Naka versus Montez. Oh, gosh. Honestly, Naka is so clicky of the reworks um, for that move type. I feel like his was the most clicky, right? Like, I think I would use Montez instead. I don't like how clicky Naka is. It's a lot of cycling, like a lot. I think I would probably use Montez, especially with the gear on the table, Evo being so cheap. Uh... And the fact that I know I have a high gem damage strap. I think I would probably use Montez, to be honest. Um, you do have... Yeah. He's just slower. He's just slower than Rocker mid-carter, I think, is the problem. He's more clicky, right? Like, and Sammy, he's slower, like... I don't know. I do like his utility for boss, though, because if there's ever multiplies, you just throw them out, blow them up, right? Um, so Naka's not bad either. He's got good boss utility anytime there's multiply. And then he's not maybe going to set the world on fire because it's not specific multiplies, you know what I mean? But he's always kind of solid if there's ever a color buff because you're going to hit some of those. So he's kind of solid there, but like not somebody I would take silver for it. Uh, when there's more, you're probably better off you're having more targeted boss people once you have some broad coverage type people. So there's that. Um, Woods is really fun, completely outclassed now, but he's he was he was fun for a minute, but completely outclassed now. So I wouldn't recommend him. Um, Oh, Lou, uh, if you need anyone for yellow finisher damage, if he's, I think he needs to go six star. But again, legendary showboat, I prefer the new KO. So I think you're pretty good too. What week are we in? Is this week three or two, guys? You're going to be really close, Noah. If this is week three, you're going to be really close. If this is week, yeah, you're, you're probably going to be close, but I still think you're probably, it's, it's hard to predict. Right? It's a five-weeker, so we're basically at the halfway point. Because we're only a day into week three. So I think you're slightly ahead of the pace, but that's without knowing what's in the contest. It's impossible to predict, right? But I'd say you're you're doing you're you're doing okay. I wouldn't feel like comfortable, but yes, I think you have a very good chance of maxing. But I would still be slightly concerned. Thank you, everybody. Josh, I didn't say hi to you. How are you? Oh, King, you're fine. 350k and you're still nervous. Oh, you do have rock. We were talking about that. You got... You, did you, I'm a, you got I know you haven't been uh, spending a ton lately. Did you get bag lucky like I did? Um, we, we're not going to talk about him because most people didn't get him, but he's amazing. Um... 
Yep. Like me, you don't care that you didn't get Hall of Fame Sheik. <laughs> right on, Josh. Bag luck. I got him on the following contest, bag luck. So, uh, Nikita, best lady tech. So, I love that you took Cowboy Bob up, actually. Legend, super useful. He's got some boss utility. I was close to pulling the trigger on Dom just because he's so good on boss. Uh, after feud, Noah, so they're, they'll, they will start... I think on Sunday or Monday, probably Monday, and they'll be all next week. Um, like four or five days. You did? Nice, Josh. Congrats. Uh, so, to counterpoint this tech, you do have one drip plate, I'm sure. It pro Does it live on Umaga for you? Who, who's your drip plate live on? Same, Mid Carter. Actually, same. I knew who you meant, Josh. Who's your drip lib on? Because with Brutus, you know, not long Umaga, Solo, and Dakota. Yeah. Do you have uh, Solo's moment? Because you can get away uh, with Solo against most people without the drip. So, if you ever feel like it, you don't. Okay, never mind then. It's going to stay on Solo. If you ever get that moment and you feel like it, Kaiser with a drip is stupid fast. Stupid good with a drip. Like, really good and fast. And uh, I know you got 100% strap for modern. Uh, I know for sure you have that. So worth thinking about down the road um, for Kaiser. Like, as far as turn one feud speed guys, then you could... I don't know if you have a, a tech promoter affiliated, though. You have two. Do you have tech affiliated? Can you run two? The same feud? The plot thickens. My man has two drips. I only have one. I'm kind of jelly. Right, HD? Are, I'm assuming you're loving it there. Just Striker and Trickster. Okay, so here's the thing. Like this, I, I, do you run Rock the same way I do? Sheik Plate? Um, no subs? Sorry, one drip, two 100% gem belts. Fair enough, okay. The drip on Kaiser, man. If, like this month when you can't run Rock the way I like running him... Um, Kaiser is so fast, right? Sheik plate's really nice, Josh. Uh, and then drip, I have one drip. I've heard people say they'd almost rather have no drips than one drip. I don't agree with that. I just don't move mine around a lot because I got, I didn't have one for a long time. I got so used to not playing with it that it just sat on solo forever and now it's going to sit on Ludwig forever. Oh, you do run the sub. Okay. Um, you got Bob, so that's good. Cowboy Bob, he's really strong multiple ways. Um, so that's fine. Uh, what else we got here? I'm told Razor with Moment in gear is good. I don't know if you have the gear moment uh i picked up in uh the moment talent ups uh oh cody you have cody too and you have a judgment who does your judgment day plate live on which plate is the drip plate dominator drip uh black moves make seven multiply gems of strength seven i believe is what it is every time you click a black move yeah tech cody mm -hmm. and i know he's got a judgment day plate who does, uh, so you actually might think about that as far as turn one, because the Judgment Day plate will mitigate if you Cascade. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Cody's using yellow. I don't think I noticed a lot of your feuders using yellow. Um, and that would be a, a better switch than the Drip, because you need the Drip on Solo. Solo's super fast. And I think you said Trickster was affiliated, right? So you can use... Um, solo and 
Brutus for your tricksters. Let me make sure I've already forgot. Who did you? Yeah, Striker and Trickster. Perfect. So uh, you want the drip on him anyway. And that gives you an option when you don't feel like running rock or Cody fits the line bonus better. Um, the Judgment Day plate isn't needed for him to hit hard. Um, what level, Scon? Um, but what it does do is if you cascade, uh, you don't get hit in the face, right? Like, so it, it doesn't make you take a lot of time. They just do a swipe because they're drained. So, um, and you don't have Showboat affiliated and you have Taker, you're probably never using Seamus or hardly ever. So yeah, five-star bronze. So I would say Cody would be pretty clutch, actually. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, which lady throws a lot of protect gems other than Hall of Fame? My drip's on Ludwig Kaiser now. Before it was on Solo. Um, which is pretty common. When you know... What Evo said is accurate. When you know you're going to run into a lot of powerhouses. So like this Lady Feud, for example, where there's... The middle lane has got a powerhouse slot that needs to be filled. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly, Mid Carter. Yeah. Uh, so you might think about Cody, and for that reason, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Uh, when you need to use someone other than Rock, he's definitely a, one of the faster tech feuders. As for Bliss, I'll find her on my roster where we're talking about these. Oh, yeah, definitely Bailey makes a lot of protects. Yeah. I think Tori can, too, with some builds. If I'm not mistaken. Why am I blind? Why is this always a problem? She's at, like, 24k talent. I know that, and I still can't find her. Hmm, there she is. So if you're not six star this way with sub trainers, so bring some blue up props and you'll get through everything. No problem. Uh, Eddie. Rick Steiner. Shelton or better is Logan Paul. If you have Logan Paul, if not Shelton and, um, Roman. Just sub it. Okay. Cool. Um... Doesn't Lex need to be gold to get his two blue, one multiply? I actually use that trainer a lot. Make sure you have that and look into using that trainer. If you're not using it, two blue MP plus one multiply. With new perks, he ends up getting used in place where Matt was a lot of times. Uh, that's a pretty useful trainer if he's not there yet. It might be silver, but I thought it was gold. Yeah, I like Chain Gang Scene at six. I, I, that's my favorite rework so far. Um, <laughs> X-Pac is solid, but new tokens. Boss versatility, Dom, when they decide they don't want to kill him, but he gets killed really easy because they can just kill countdown gems. You know what I mean? That's the only downside. They have killed him on some bosses, so there's that. I'm not a big Tech Steiner fan personally, uh, but when he's required, um, six star bronze might be nice. But uh, the training ability is useful if you're going to run Chelsea's bleed setup. The two yellow 65% bleed is really good on Chelsea's bleed setup. So there's that. Um, I, thought, I think you're pretty good, man. At tech, too. 
like other than what we talked about. Let's kind of glance through trainers again. You guys help me out here. We can all admire all of his HBKs he has leveled up. So striker trainers. Steph we talked about is a good possibility. That's high enough. He's no BBB for sure. Um, those are high enough. Okay, this I want to talk about, actually. There's a big sleeper that takes a lot of stuff, and you said you're affiliated with Striker. Uh, if One True King is here, he can vouch for this, and this is worth talking about in general. So, oh, dude, love, yeah, yeah. Uh, take her to 26k? You can do that, yes. We'll get, let me, but uh, one second, yes. Uh, Striker is probably my second most token hungry class, I think. Uh, this one's not necessarily useful this moment, however. Ah, stop it. Do you have this moment, Mid Carter? 50% gem boost. Destroy gems. Multiply gems x6. There's the other new moment is multiply gems x8. Or uh, two. So that's eight. The the one that we can looks like we can probably get with rosters like ours. I'm hinging that. His third gear, which is the cheapest thing on the prize wall, is 50% boost to black gem damage. He also starts, also I love that gear, um, with three more MP, right? And then 50% black gem boost. This is going to help you have a ton of black gems on the board. This 9 MP isn't scary because we have 3 MP from the gear. He's making all black gems multiply strength 4, plus the 8 from the 2 moments, right? So they're, all black gems are strength 12. The destroy is going to let you destroy, what is it, 13 or something, I think, uh, from the moments. Is it destroy 6? Six. So that's 12, right? 12 on the destroy. So that's 12 times 12s without adding any trainers. You can put five purple into black, so most of the time you're going to get not really clicky. Make all and then choose destroy. I don't think it's that clicky. Because, like, super clicky? No, uh, maybe? I don't know. Mr. Loomis is not impressing you? Well, Dexter needs really good stuff. Move charge. I don't like m uh, most of my strikers. I mean, if, if that guy says it's fast enough, I'm pretty sure it's probably fast enough. I think he knows something about... Feud, probably. Evo's very good at Feud, too, though. But he's used Seth a bunch. Loomis needs the Taker Plate. Yes. Um. So what What do we got? Four and three is seven, and I would go with this. Uh, seven. One for your turn is eight. So you don't have Sherry, right? So no Sherry, but you can use Brawn. No, Andre you have. You can use Andre. So now we got 13s, and we got 4 and 3 and 2. So that's 9. There's your MP. So now you can just go... Did you, did you have Memrock? I didn't notice. Now you can go Memrock, and we can go... Probably Gunther would be, would be the best. So 14 times 14 multiply gems destroying 12 times 14 black multiply gems with a 50% boost on top of it and 
you're probably not using your tiara on somebody, your queen's tiara. That's going to go off. So that's another 100% or another 50%. So you got a 100% boost. Yeah, Zombie Gunther, he's like 60% multiply gems, right? The blue doesn't matter. Um, and that's probably going to be the best here. Don't have... Oh, okay. Then use... Um, Black gem percentage at six star silver. It would be black gem percentage of 30%, which I think is Z priest. That's surprising, actually. No, you have her. Yep. Another reason to take your six star bronze. Then you would use her. Angelo. Silver, she's not going to hit much harder than you're hitting at bronze. She has a bigger health pool. That's fair. Mid Carter, that's fine. Then just put live on for 30% black gems, right? And that with the new moment, because the new moment also adds, I believe that also adds gem damage. So that's another 50%. Like, that is my, I'm taking, I, he's going up for me, like to silver almost for sure. I'm gonna play him at bronze and see how I like it, but assuming I can get his gear, and I can get to that moment. What was I looking at, guys? I just went here to look at something. I don't remember. I just forgot what I was doing. What the heck? That's awkward. Anyway, Seth is really good. With oh, he's going to look at the moment. Seth is really good with the moments. So if you have them, and he has the hardest one to get... No, okay, just the multiplies here. But still, he's getting a lot of other stuff. So 12, that's, what's 12 times 14? That's a lot of black gems. 12 times 14. 168. Yeah, so I think that's going to hit really hard. Kofi Mania. Let me look again, Evo. That's a lot. So that's a lot of black gems. So Seth is certainly on the table. I think for a lot of people, maybe not a lot, but that moment is available, right? Actually, I don't think he'll use this one, right? Because he's making all black gems. So I don't think this one will benefit him. Yeah, I don't think so. So you don't need Kofi Mania. This is the harder one to get so far. And it obviously adds a ton with the six multiplies and the 50% gem damage. Yeah, and then just uh, Queen's Tiara him. You know? You got the three MP, the boost. Oh, you're right. Oh my gosh, Evo, you're right. I'm an idiot. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's more purples on the board uh, for excessive purpleness into black. Yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. Thank you, Evo. No, he's 100% right. Yeah, level this sucker. I have way too many tokens. So let's go. I have over a million. 1.7 million. That made a weird noise. Did you hear that? Okay, four's enough. Good. It's a good moment, Druzies. Also, I didn't say hi. How are you, Druz Druzies? Um, Angelo, did I ever finish with your comment about Korra? If you have the NXT moment, mine's hitting like about 14 million with that setup, but you can also use the sub setup if you want. She's really good at fast wins against six-star bronzes. Sometimes keep six-star silvers down. Mostly the health pool is why I took her to silver, and I think she's fun. So I like playing her and I just wanted the health pool because she heals for 5 million with the traps, 6 million. That's why I took her up uh, to silver. And, and it was for Lady Boss Battle, which she was very good at. Okay, Mid Carter, let's get back to your trainers. Holy crap, it's 4.30. Uh, we're going to go over a little bit. Hi, Ivy, how are you? What's up, Bills Mafia? Um, and yeah, guys, help out. You said Taker, Taker has the, the power gem thingy. At 26k, so if you're good on tokens, they're completely right there. HD said that. Good shout out, HD. So Seth is kind of a sneaky one here. I like that pick. Uh, Taker. Who else were we on trainers? 
No, 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 Mid Carter. This is more important to me, honestly, and I think this is helpful for a lot of people. Um, I'll. It's not going to take long because I don't I don't have the crazy good plate for Loomis anyway, but I still like Loomis. Oh yeah, dude, love. Uh, if you don't have hit, yes, if he's not to the extra gem in thirty five percent, that's useful on HBK. I feel like you probably have him high enough though, because you have HBK. Uh, do you have all these gear? If he has all these gear, yes, because he doesn't really need much MP trainer wise, and that's useful. Plus, he's legend. Um, no Ollie gear. Then not as good, but your legend strikers, you got Andre up there so you can get stuff done and you have Rocky. And if you want, you have a Piper and Drip Plate you can stick on Rocky, who it's ridiculously hard. That's a big investment, but he hits super hard that way. Evo knows about that. <laughs> he doesn't need the Piper necessarily. You got the Thugonomics? Uh, not right off any one other than the Booyaka. Who, so if I have an idea of one that I think will make way better, I'll make a video on it for sure. Like I did for Sako, right? So not right off. Andre moment. So thinking about him to silver, it's move damage. <clears throat> Maybe I don't know enough about Andre to be fair. And, and I just got that moment myself. Ooh, that's huge. Telvin. That's huge. I have two grave hearts and two Booyakas, Lee. Um, I I don't feel like I'm the best authority on Andre. Mine's still five star gold. I haven't leveled him, and I just recently got the moment. Um, so yeah, he's fun with that. Uh, very fun with that. Sako is. So I I think mid Carter. I don't feel comfortable on advising you silver or not with Andre. That's a gap in my knowledge, in my opinion. Um, Bischoff, of course, can hit super hard, uh, is good in a lot of bosses, especially if you have, uh, his, his moment in gears. I don't know if you do. It's worth noting though. Um, Drew is fun. If we ever had a seance, he would be more fun, but we don't have that. Uh, but he's kind of fun. Yeah, he really doesn't need it for what he does. I guess that makes sense with Andre because he's move based. Uh, KO. Striker KO needs to be moved up to 6-star for 2 purple MP, 100% purple move damage, so keep that on your radar as well. Also, Ollie's sub trainer is really good because it's all color subs. So if you ever don't have a 100%er or like for tours, if you just want to use that for super sub like with a 100%er and then just use like an MP up kind of thing. So that's worth noting for Ollie trainer wise too. Um... Lashley is good, but he's been outclassed. So I think Seth to me is the sneakiest of them. If you have all the stuff, like the least obvious, and I'm actually pretty pumped to do that. Sadly, you can't play him on a tour and show how hard he's going to hit because those things only work in feud, but I really like that combo with Seth. And I find I'm not using a lot of that red MP trainers personally. And striker is one of your affiliated classes. Um, so I kind of like that. Um, Loomis is fun if we ever you, I didn't see it so I'm in the same boat as you if we ever get that taker plate Loomis with that plate is awesome nice Rod Ollie triple red with Sheriff is great absolutely yep Sheriff plate is such a good plate really really good plate i only have one i would i would i would actually be fine with like three or four of those just saying really good plate so yeah um i think that's the trainers on striker mostly powerhouse trainer we already talked about anvil becky's high enough for trainer seamus is high enough we talked about veer if you wanted his trainer i don't actively use it on anyone ridge if you're ever using ghostbuster cena his six star trainer for countdowns is useful even if you're not using Cena, like Countdown Boss, so and you probably have enough shards that he's shard free. Do you know what affiliation straps are, uh, Zyklix? A lot of people don't, actually. It's a great question. See these straps with this whistle? 
This bonus allows the superstar to hold a total of two active entourage contracts at once. They have those that you can put on promoters. So for feud, the striker feud promoter, uh, who is it? Let me just go to my promoters. It's Triple H, right? So 50% feud score boost on strikers. So he has his strikers affiliated. And you can even get some that have four, but they're super rare. Super rare. But yeah, so like all of my feud ones are affiliated except for Showboat. I can only use one Showboat and get the 50% boost. It makes a huge difference to try and track these down. I need an affiliation for her. I haven't checked in ages. I could have got one and missed it, but I doubt it. I think I'd freak if I got it. Because I love my showboats, yeah. It was not $500 for that strap. It was cash. They had an offer of four of them up. Uh, I think they were like 2000 3000 cash each one. It was up for like less than an hour or two, like a long time ago. Years at this point. I got an X-Pac, uh, Triple H, and two Woodses. Otherwise, it was spend $500 to get them, other than that one-time cash thing. Uh, and I think there have been some other ways you could get them since then, but they are few and far between to get the fours, so they're super rare. But I got mine from the cash offer when they were up years ago at this point. Okay. But promoters are amazing to affiliate feud ones in particular. Uh, it lets you get those boosted scores. Uh, we talked about Cody for trainer already. We talked about Bra, Sammy. He's high enough. We talked about potentially him for his trainer, Stay Puff, if you like the MP reduction in the gem damage. If you have really low charge people, I think it's like 50% gem boost to a specific color. I don't remember which one, but those are handy. We talked about Rick for his trainer. I think we already got all the powerhouse trainers here. Uh, is Rock high enough for his... He's been outclassed by Clubber, but every once in a while there's like a 1 MP guy or on a tour. I think he's high enough, though. Bulldog, he said you already took up. Uh, so I think we got all those. Uh-huh. Got all those. Nice, B-Rock. You got Jason Jordan, Steel, and at the time, Bray. Nice. Some useful ones. Uh, Trickster, we talked about, and that's just a shortage, right, of tokens. Acro, who are the trainers? Oh, also Shelton is kind of a sleeper if you have a bunch of stuff for him. But you need crazy, crazy stuff. I think there's a moment. I think it might be Drip Plate and other stuff involved. Um... Tatanka Trainer is super useful with the sub. We talked about Doink. We talked about Better Sin Kara in Mosh. Cena, you took him up. So you're covered there, I think. Hey, hey, what's up, Ivy? Hey, 619, how are you? You counted 50 unused? I have a lot of unused ones, yeah. They, you don't need them until you need them. Did we get all the trainers in Showboat? Oh, here. Old Hall of Famer. Purple move damage. Uh, Six-star bronze. Uh, so, Hall of Fame Trish. Eddie, is that high enough for his immobiles being maxed? I think it is. Uh, we talked about Grayson. Tori is also black, 2 MP and 40% gem damage at 6 star. I think you said Grayson was shard issue. I don't know if she is, but she's worth taking to 6 star for that training ability as well. Uh, Gable we talked about, potentially. Woods is high enough, I believe. 
level of commitment you're not ready for. I love, I feel I have brawn affiliated and mellow affiliated. I like my MP trainers. I love it on Toria six has been out. Okay. Perfect. Never disregard then way ahead of me. Um, If you're using purple finish or anyone, Lou for that. I think he's six star bronze, but it's not a huge boost. It's 10%. And I don't think I actively care about that on anyone right now personally. So I don't think you are, but it's, you know, and we talked about KO, um, of course. So yeah, that looks good. And then tech. Got all of them six star mostly anyway. There, Cena's high enough, he's high enough. Um, Vinci, I don't think I'm using his trainer on anyone, but it maxes at six star bronze. Cody, we talked about. I think Andre's high enough for his reduction. Scott, we talked about for trainer, uh, for what's her face's bleed build. Drew's high enough. I think Dawkins got a boost on the destroy and move damage. Maybe. No, I think I'm full of crap there. Disregard. I don't think I'm using his trainer anywhere. I can't remember what it does. But not Elias. I don't think I'm using anywhere. Dragon sign off. He's sign off. She's sign off. We talked about Lex. So yeah, I think that's everything. I think we got through it. Hopefully that was helpful. Any other questions, Mid Carter? Blue finisher coach. Thanks, Jabroni. That might be useful on somebody. I don't think, again, I actively use it on anyone. Nice, Druzies. Any questions at all, Mid Carter? We'll take a look at Dexter while we're doing that. I don't expect this to be huge because I don't have the taker plate. A page of notes to go through, then just the tokens right on. See that this is what I was hoping for guys. Like it's just it, a second set of eyes helps. I guarantee you if we went through my roster, like we just did his, there'd be all kinds of stuff. Oh, I want to level him. I want to level him. Somebody would be like, dude, you missed him. You know what I mean? Um, it's just really helpful. So I like this. I've got it. You can borrow. <laughs> oh, I did not know that one true king. I did know people were complaining about it. I didn't know it got, I never paid attention to it getting removed. But yes, because it always would roll affiliation and people are like, ah, I don't need it. You don't need it till you need it. Then you're like, I need it. Okay. Uh, I think I just slapped a, I think I slapped a 60%er on Dexter strap for this. He's gonna, the better stuff you have, the better he scales. Anyway, I also, I like the way the gear looks. Um, I don't have that taker plate. So yeah, 60% gem damage, 40-40, uh, with the Fury 2s. Um, this is a 15 on here little bit of green there the other little bit of green there these two are just stock right uh trainers a lot of people can't run bpp right so this is just green gem damage this gets you loaded there's a any two green mp works this just gives you an extra 50 percent green gems which is pretty big um so if, if you can use him great if not then it's going to be less, right? So this is generally a pretty good setup uh, for him. And then there's a little bit of variance depending on how many, how the cascades happen with the traps, right? Also, what else? Yeah, I don't have the trap plate. The trap plate, he's awesome with. Um, people that have 100% strap for him. One second, because I'm over. I want to make sure. Uh, hold on. She sent me a voice message. I'm going to mute the stream one second. Oop.
Okay, I'm back. That should be good for audio. Yeah. I haven't used Dexter in a minute, so the trap one gives a nice, bu nice buff. I want to say it's 200% to greens. Yeah, guys? I could be wrong. I want to say it's 200%. Um, but the gameplay is super simple. Okay, and I don't have a ton of time left, for sure. Because uh, it'll be dinner soon. Mrs. Merrick's is leaving work. And I don't really... And I already went long, so... Works amazing on new Naka. Yes. Yes, it does. I I love the trap set on Naka. So, uh, we're sitting at 61k on the, on the greens here. And then we're going to hit the boost. Go to like 90-ish. Be 83. Okay. Mm, I set my, my traps dumb, by the way. Really, I should not have put them on the black gems. So we're going to over cascade here. For sure. Well, no matter what I do, we're over cascading. Because I'm big. Di no? Hold on. Yep. I suck at this game. Whatever. Right, Zandel? That's a 60% strap. That was 7.8 million. Really simple gameplay, right? With the other 200% plate, that's just gonna... If you have a 100% strap and a 200% plate, and then this gear on top of it, it's really fast for a striker or two. Right, in general, I wish I, I, I should have taken I feel like I should have taken that plate. I took the other one because it was more expensive, the blue one, and it would work on more people. But and, and it was dumb because I know I love using Dexter. So I feel like I was dumb. I should have followed my heart instead of my brain because he's super fun in general. And uh, that takes him over the top. And he's and he's a really good striker that way. Because he's strong anyway, even with a 100% strap in his gear, you probably would push 8 million-ish, and you basically double all this damage. We're getting nothing really from the move here. Um, he's just quite good. You cleared Dexter out without strap? I believe it, yeah. I absolutely believe it. But, like, you, he's very feudable. Like... Very, very feudable. And three is kind of the sweet spot, usually for me, uh, with these characters that do this. That was 6.4. So, like, without the, the other plate, most... But still, I mean, like, honestly, it's still not horrible for a free one. Um, but with all the stuff, he's very, very usable and it's very fast, right? I just like him. I like his gameplay. It's pretty much Merrick's proof. Uh, it's fast. Also, it's great for boss, for green gems. It destroys a ton of them. Two if I run a zombie coach. Two... what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Zombie coach. Yes, you are correct. Who does greens? I see that one was complete foobar by me. Um, because I'm talking and thinking zombie coaches. Who does who does greens? Is that Is Ray Ray's greens, right? Dude, your voice could tell me the worst news and I would not be dissatisfied. <laughs> I think it's Ray. Let's try Ray. I haven't done that. Thanks, Will Breaker. That's much better than, dude, you have an annoying voice. It's weird. Sometimes people say that and I don't know why. Like, I hate the way my own voice sounds when I listen to it back. Let's try that. I'm kind of curious if more traps will do better for us. So when I'm right... And things are good in my life, which they usually are in my personal life, right? Like, I'm very lucky. Um, I really, really like my partner. Uh, she's amazing. We've been together for like 16 years, I think now. Sounds right. 
in October, I think, uh, was 16 years. Um, I'm generally pretty calm, but I also have a not calm when I'm not calm <laughs> for sure. Um, I try to be mellow on stream. I have more fun. Right on Lee. Take care, bud. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure and click those guys to follow. She is HD. Uh, shout yourself out again. Go follow them on Twitch, YouTube. They do a podcast that's very entertaining. Rusty and Lee, super nice guys on top of it. Um, yeah, they are good dudes. She is HD. I was, so I have my issues, right? Like for sure. Some of you may know them. <laughs> Some of you may not. But like, I'm definitely not what you would consider neurotypical. And, um,. I was not good at relationships when she met me at all. And I'm still not great, but I've come a long way. They can't play Gunther though? <laughs> I, I like this Cascade with two. Hey Bomber, how are you, bud? Ooh, that was 7.4. I feel like this is better. Certainly we'd be better for boss breaking all those greens. I like that. More traps is kind of money. Or, yeah, more traps, potentially, to go off. That was really good. Let's see if it was luck or not. Did I just put that in another... No, I'm fine. I probably put it in another stupid spot, I was going to say. How are you, Bomber? If you guys didn't know, Fish and Bomber. Fish was here earlier. Bomber's in here now. When I first started streaming and there was two people watching me, it was those two. <laughs> it was, yes. Yeah, I'm digging this. With the uh, with the uh, ray on there, I actually like that more. That would have made it so much easier. That's funny but not funny, King. Congrats on the plate. I like Ray on there more. I think Ray's better. Yeah, the jacket's awesome, dude. I love I love Dexter. I wish I had the plate. I should have taken that plate. Should have taken that plate. I like him a lot. Anyway, uh, that's Dexter. Uh, let's check Dom out. I don't have a uh, rosy plate either. It's one of those ones I just haven't gotten, which is kind of weird. And it's, of course, for the Leech Gem build. 22? Yeah, bomber. <laughs> it was... I've, and it hasn't been available since, but it was the cheapest of the plates. Except for the Sheriff, I think, right? No, it was cheaper than Sheriff. So I figured I'd get the too expensive one and I'd get it sooner. But there's the logic. That extra 25% will add up, Bomber. He's going to absolutely slap. 100% strap? Wait. Where's Dom? I'm blind. Where are you, sir? Yeah, I hope we do too. I think we will. Useless fact of the day, Sosa Ko is on an 0 for 23 losing streak since the defeating Cena. That's hilarious. I'm probably only going to do this a couple and call it a stream because I'm way long. Uh, so this is a 30% strap here. Uh, not loaded, no plates, right? Uh, his gear is 150% yellow gem damage. This is not his strongest moveset in the past. Rosy Plate, I believe, adds 75% more yellow to this, um, if I'm not mistaken, which I does not have. Uh, yet. Uh, really low charge at 6 MP, so we're going to use Cena uh, to get this loaded. This would be a feud loadout. Austin Theory that most people have. All the gems underneath hit 100% harder. And then flat yellows with Taker here. Yeah. So I got the blue one for LA Knight. I wanted it on LA Knight. So it could be worse. I use it on LA Knight. It's fun. But I just really like Dexter. So, I'd probably say the health, Jason, personally, because his move isn't spicy. And, you know, once they get, start getting leveled up, that health really adds up. You know what I mean? So, I'd probably say the health. Chat, feel free to weigh in. But I think I would take the health on Dexter, because I don't see him doing much spiciness. 
the Dom gameplay is really nice, though. It's really easy. But the Leech set has just never hit really hard, to be honest. So outside of boss, because this is much faster animations like yellow boss or leech boss, I don't see using it really personally, which is too bad. Leeches generally don't scale great in our game. Very rarely do they. And this is another case of that. It is Merrick's proof gameplay, right? For sure. Um, even with the rosy plate and 100% strap, you're only going so far with this. Yeah, Heartstopper on Funk is great, Noah. Absolutely. Combine it with Piper, uh, Pyroplate, Chef's Kiss. It's also really good on D'Lo. It's really good on Wesley. It certainly helps Dom a lot with this set, but I wouldn't, to me, I wouldn't consider it like a competitive set. Yeah, it's just one turn, Jabroni. And it's only, it's only 75%. Not enough to, like... I mean, you might get 300k out of it on this build. You know what I mean? Blowing up the board is no longer enough. And the leech strength isn't big enough. No, uh... Hey, make... Nope, she's not. Yeah. However... For yellow boss... This would be very good, right? And the animations on this moveset are nice. So, like, that's turn one boss, leech boss, yellow boss. This is good. No, you're not dumb. You just didn't know. But, yeah. Um, it, it doesn't... It, it the, So, earlier I said, and I still maintain this, because I don't have Indy, and there's she's a zero shard recruit. I just assume I'm never going to get her. My, my lady tricksters are stacked. Right? So, I don't use Rhea. So I don't really care about 6 MP on her. I still don't think I personally would use her. Because I'm the Rhea I'm going to build is the Acro Rhea. If that makes sense. Yeah, Yellow Leech Boss would be crazy. So, like, for me, other than Indy, I actually think the Dexter gear is the best gear in here. Um, And that's... that It might be weird, but that's the one I'm most excited about. And it's the one that most likely looking at it, I'll probably get free unless for some reason faction runs into issues, which I kind of doubt. But again, you never know till it's live with scoring, but like there's so many good lady tricksters. I don't really care about Rhea. I mean, like take your pick. That's where I am. I didn't watch it, Kid Kelly, but yes, I watched the box score and it was quite good. Cora's really good bomber. Yeah, I like her a lot. She doesn't scale much past six star bronze. Uh, like she hits, she kind of hits her peak at bronze, but she's really good. She gets a bigger health pool and she heal, heals. Uh, that's why I took her silver. I just enjoy her. She's really easy gameplay uh, and a lot of fun, right? But Trickster is loaded with ladies. You can't really go wrong, honestly. If you pick one, they're probably good. Uh, and Rhea is fine too. She's just not somebody I plan on using compared to what I have, right? So, plus her gear is pull. I won't, don't think I'll get it. So, I actually am a big fan of the Dexter gear. Uh, I like it. I think he's, he's really fun anyway. So, that's kind of where I'm at on that. India, I'm at zero shards. Don't plan on getting. That's obviously the best gear. But it's not happening that I'll get her, and I doubt I'll get her gear anyway, because that's crazy price while expensive. And then real quick, Mid Carter, thank you. Uh, for going through your roster again. I really appreciate that B rock. I'm sorry next week <laughs> uh, Batter if you're still here, maybe next week if not the week after Zandel if you're still here get me yours and, and you'll get on the list, you know um, Yeah, that was I wanted to bomber um, Take her against the silver Right and I was all hyped to do it, and then I saw it was Roxanne, I'm like, no, so this is crazy good value, and this is crazy good value. On the prize wall, these are really, really good values. I feel like this is pretty good value. Um, these full six stars are quite nice. 
um, solid there. Again, full six stars for Jade. It's just a fuse up, but I think the value is great. If you're missing any of the Judgment Day, this is awesome amount of shards. So I feel like the value here is great. Even if it doesn't recruit them, it gets you closer. Really strong value. Um, big, big fan of these. Um, these straps, 40 at the worst on the gem damage traps for striker. That's the one I have my eyes on. 60 is my best striker. Uh, trickster, modern trickster. So if you're a solo person and you don't have a good gem damage, you know what I mean? Those are pretty smexy. And then we got uh, Acrobat. So I really like these. Yeah, Zandel for sure. I hate the econ. You can always replace this stuff. So I think this is horrible value, just as a heads up. Absolutely terrible. This stuff you can't necessarily replace the high chances to get the stuff, in particular these two gears. I think these two are like outstanding value, um, personally. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the prize wall real quick. It, depending how many uh, tokens end up, I don't usually do prize wall videos because a lot of times there's not, um, and Professor always does. So check Professor out on his prize wall videos because he does them every time. I don't usually do them unless I feel like community has a decent amount of choices, right? So I don't know how, I won't do one unless like it looks like uh, people are gonna have like five, six, seven K sort of thing, uh, or a decent amount. Well, cause most of the time you just get what you get, you know, and we get econ, but, uh, this one looks really good so far. Six one nine, to be honest, so far, it looks really good. Have to see how it plays out, but the tours have been generous. Um, yeah, I had a really great time, uh, guys. I'm enjoying the Tuesday thing. It's going to be more of this every Tuesday roster stuff. Um, when we don't have this much stuff going on, it's easier to talk roster. Feel free to chime in. I love getting you guys' thoughts. Um, on if I miss somebody who might be good, uh, we can look at different... Sometimes I can do gameplays for you guys and stuff, too. We're just really busy, you know? Uh, we know who the feud character is. It's in the game if you look. I'm not gonna... Probably, I'm not sure if I should say it or not on this. Someone in chat can tell you who it is. Don't know what class she is, but usually, not always, middle line is a good indicator. So I don't know. This is not inside info. When I see this, I assume it's a powerhouse. Back-to-back -back powerhouses would be weird, but it's happened before where we've had back-to-back. -back. Typically, this tells you what it's going to be. It's going to be a powerhouse. Don't know that it will be for sure, but my guess would be Powerhouse. If not Powerhouse, I would say Tech. So. That's guess. That's not inside info. Right. Showboat would fit for sure, but Powerhouse... Because um, Tori's here with Showboat, but I feel like it's Powerhouse with this. I don't know why I just do. The attitude requirement is really weird. This one is really weird because it's a legendary card i don't oh it's probably because we don't have any legendaries that's probably why anyway guys uh i went way long two and a half hours is good i'm gonna have dinner in a few minutes that would be great bills mafia thank you for being here again gonna do this on tuesdays a lot of roster stuff hopefully we can make it nerdy uh geek out have fun with it you know and talk about a lot of different stuff so it's a modern female legend indeed <clears throat> Yep, Wendy and Sherry, and most people don't have Sherry. That's it, so I guess it makes sense, right? I will. And uh, I'm going to play a bunch of Pal World again tonight. Completely addicted to that. I don't know if I'll stream late tonight, but I may stream Pal World on my uh, channel late tonight because it's fun. Um, and I'm playing anyway, so I might do that. Uh, probably will stream Champs tomorrow on mine, unless I'm like feeling the burnout a little bit from streaming. Then I won't, but I will for sure Thursday, and we're going to talk feud stuff, uh, ladies setups, alternative setups, that kind of thing. And then maybe if there's time, we can send screenshots on Discord and I can help people with their roster setting up for feud sort of thing, like a feud clinic kind of thing too. Um, Wednesday or Thursday. That would probably be Thursday if that happens. So that's kind of the game plan for the rest of the week on streaming. Probably stream Wednesday and Thursday. Won't stream Friday almost for sure. And then I'll most likely stream Monday on my channel and then Tuesday on this. You need, yeah, you do need feud help, uh, but you're not going to get it from me because you're a better feuder than I am. <laughs>
So you won't get it from me. Anyway, guys, thanks again. This is fun. I'm enjoying it a lot, which is important to me. Uh, I don't want to do these streams unless I have fun. Oh, is, what do you mean, wait on Professor? Is he going live? If Professor's going, no, he's not going live. Okay. Then I, okay. Then I'm I'm like yeah, I absolutely rate him if they're streaming. Otherwise, I'm just gonna sign off. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, he does. I'm sure he does. Mm -hmm. Professor's a really good dude. All of the content creators are worth watching, to be honest, and they can all help you with stuff. So yeah, if you're not follow Professor uh, Goldie. Zoro, um, Davey, um, uh, Sap Daddy's a really good dude. Yes, he's not official, but he's a great dude. Love Sap Daddy. Iron Sheik as well. Not official, but great dude. Uh, Benny. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of really, Benny's got an awesome Pat Patterson video, um, among others, but I already said Goldie, but yes, Goldie again. You're deaf, HD. I think it's Goldie for shout out. There you go. Those are Twitch channels. Um, Sap streaming? I'll raid Sap. I'm not. Don't have my Twitch up. He is streaming. Heck yeah. Follow him. That's what I said. Watch him. All that stuff. That's what I said. What did you say? Sap Daddy Gaming. Yeah, Discord helps too, absolutely. Anyway, guys, you have a really good night. Um, and thanks again. I'm enjoying this a lot. And that's important to me, because if I'm not having fun, I won't do it. Just say no to Merrick's reading blogs and making you wait an hour. <laughs>